Now this, the U.S. ambassador to Panama is resigning following the president's alleged vulgar comments. Now, the president is uh, saying he didn't quite use the, those tough words. However, Senator Durbin said today, yes, Mr. President, you did say them. Joining us now is Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary. How do you think Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the current White House press secretary, should handle this? Because it's going to come right out of this afternoon. It's going to be a brutal briefing today, Stuart. Today is one of those days where if you're a White House press secretary for Donald Trump, you need to toe the line. You need to justify what the boss did, why he did it, because that's who Donald Trump is. He likes these controversies to be about himself, and he thinks it's productive. Well, I think every single reporter in that room is going to think that this was destructive, and it's hurtful of America's image in the world. So you're going to have a clash in that briefing room. What would you say, uh, it's a difficult question to answer, but what would you say if you were Mr. Trump's White House press secretary? Well, that doesn't work that way. You know, if you're the press secretary, you sign up to promote and defend the president. You are not your own boss. You are the spokesman. You carry the, pro the president's words. So Sarah has to do that. That's her job. Uh, and the press is going to play the devil's advocate. And in this case, it comes naturally. It's not the devil. It's them. Uh, and yeah. they'll, they'll bang on the president. And justifiably so, Stuart, in this instance. I, I personally, you know, I have a diplomatic passport over my shoulder here. America's role in the world is important. What the president says is important. And, and even beyond that, you know, the president has had so much success going on. When, when you look at the tax cuts, when you look at the rebates, when you look at the growth in the economy, when you look at jobs, when you look at how North Korea is now being cracked down upon by China, as we just found out today, trade with North Korea is 50 percent drop from China. And when you look at the immigration success the president has been having and that long meeting he had with Congress, we may actually get an immigration package put, uh, agreed to. Why aren't we talking about that? Well, it's because the president is making himself too hot to handle. Well, it's, he it's seems to have, Has he shot himself in the foot and really hurt the chances of an immigration deal? Well, I think he set it back, yes. He had momentum going into it, momentum on behalf of the wall. And if you're a Democrat who's going to have to take a hard vote and compromise to give Trump the wall in exchange for DACA, and that the president says things like this, you naturally say, how can I work with him? Why, why should I try to compromise and give him anything? So it makes it harder. At the end of the day, I think they still have to get it because the issues involving DACA, deportation of people who are here illegally, and they are threatened with deportation, properly so, unless we have a legislative agreement, at the end of the day, I hope that preempts bad feelings about what the president inappropriately said. In journalism, of course, you're not supposed to end an interview with only time will tell or let's see what happens. But I'm afraid that's how I'm going to end it, because only time will tell how uh, Ms. Sanders responds to the hostile media today. Ari Fleischer, thank you, sir. Much obliged to you. Thank you.